Hello and welcome everyone to the Subway 500 here from Martinsville Speedway. Five races to go. This is race number 32 of 36 in the race for the championship here. Looking at the standings, after our record tying 13th win of the season last time out in Charlotte, uh, we currently sit 152 ahead of Mark Martin, 217 over Dale Jr. in points. That's Kenseth Gordon, Newman, Johnson, Bush, Jarrett and Elliott rounding out the top 10. And with that being said, without further ado, let's just jump right into this race here in Martinsville. Fastest in practice, we got pole even though we didn't run a quality setup. So uh, let's just jump right into this one. Wait, I gotta show you the top 10 in, point, uh, in, 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 in quality. That's Dale Jr. from myself, then it's Kurt Busch. Rusty Wallace, Jeff Burton, Ricky Craven, who won this race in 2001. Sterling Marlin, Jeff Green, Elliot Sadler, Bob Labani, Rod now the top 10 here. Mark Martin's going to start in 14th spot. And defending champion Tony Stewart is going to start shotgun on the field here. Jimmy Johnson, who won pole last time in Charlotte, um, only starts 30, uh, 42nd here. So, uh, yeah, let's race. Drivers, stop your engines! Seventy-five laps around Martinsville. Beautiful ready, sunny day here in October. Eight cars in. I gotta wait for the AI to catch up because they're a little bit slow, as we know. Come on, guys. You can do it. You can do it. You can round the corner. Green flag. Green flag. Green's out. Green, We're racing green. in Martinsville. As we did the last time, we jump right ahead into the lead as they take a little bit to get going. Something I tried to work on, but yellow didn't really. Let go. Right back to the line. Couldn't it's really fix as the yellow red flags red out. Red. Already after one lap. Okay, we're under Kept up with the paint car. So here's what happens. Uh, Johnny Benson. Gets turned around by Mark Martin into Martin's teammate Kenseth. Spins in front of the field and Robbie Gordon's also around. There's a huge block here, a huge roadblock on the back straightaway. Johnny Benson straightens it out, everyone keeps it going. Get ready now, going green. Base car going onto pit lane. We're gonna go green. Hopefully for a little longer than one lap. Here at Martinsville. Green, green, green. green flags out. Back underway. Oh, and I almost spin it around here. Inside. Kurt Busch is looking to the inside. But I say no, 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 Kurt. I haven't forgotten Richmond here. I haven't forgotten Richmond. Bushy will try to fight me for a lead here now. I'm gonna give him the room and also Rusty Wallace as we're pushed to the outside. Go to the inside here. Goodbye Bushy, I told you you got one coming. I told you that was revenge for Richmond. And we take the lead. Ah, oh, feels great. <laughs> that actually feels great to give some redemption. I knew Martinsville's probably going to be a prime opportunity for the, to, to do that. Little bump and run. Now we gotta wait for the pace car. Let's have a look at the replay. So Bushy takes the lead here from me, and uh, I actually wanted him to do that, kind of, because I knew, okay, I want to be behind him, and I want to wreck him when he is in a good position. And I just dive deep in there. And run him into the wall. Oh, so beautiful. Ah, oh, that makes me happy. <laughs> Out of four here. Coming to lap 15. Green, green, 
Green flag flies again here in Martinsville. And Junior takes over second from Rusty Wallace, or at least tries to, as both of them are side by side here. As we run over the curb here, that's going to enable Dale Jr. to get to the lead of the race, or maybe not. I'm on the outside. I don't have much. I don't have. A, I don't really have a choice to to fight back there. Maybe I have. Just looking at the acceleration advantage I have here. Settle into second now here. Trying to not slide the tires too much. I'm gonna spin the car around like the last time we were here. Now we get the run out of the turn. To the inside of Dale Jr. we go. Outside. Tries to hold the position. Can hold it through one and two, but not through number three and number four. Slight apron hop there. Popped over the curb. Dale Jr. remains in the lead. His car is quite good off the high side, I feel like. Keep low. Here comes the leader. Stay low. Next car is the leader. I don't really want to run Stay into low. him on the, the exit there, so I'm a little bit slower on the gas. Still there. Still there. Because we know NR 2003 physics. Once you make contact on exit Stay of a corner high. with someone, you're you're gonna be the one who's gonna pop off of him and, and spin into the wall or into the inside of the track. We retook the lead, took some time to work on Dale Jr. there, but uh, we made it work. Here on lap 25, one third of the race almost completed. Oh no, we spin the car around. Let's go. Race back to the line. As we come way too hot into the corner there. Yellow flags out. Okay, we're Gonna drop back to 10th position. There's actually Kirk Bushy Bush running 9th. Let's spin the car around there. I was just too fast coming into the turn. Pit road is now open. But luckily, no, no damage done to the car. Just way too late on the brakes. God, that was stupid. Slightly, slightly brushed the wall there. But spin it around and keep it out of everyone's way. Stacking up the field there behind me a little bit as Ryan Newman and Bill Elliott run each other into the wall, but keep it going. Pace cars off. We're going to restart here in 10th with Dale Jr. as the leader so two both my championship rivals Martin is running up there as well um, in good positions here no Martin's actually behind me We're firing off into one to the inside of Sadler and Bush slightly higher than I want it to be but I don't care we gotta get back to Dale Jr. here in just a bit the overshoot the corner once again and we're on our side there no caution with Sterling Marlin okay calm down calm down everything's fine keep the car running there Martin now ahead of us 38 to go 
Does it make contact with Jerry Nadu the cars? Really, I feel like the brakes have gone away a little bit. Or something. It's not breaking as good as it once did. Trying to pass Marlin here. Down to 13th, actually. Yeah, she's just... I don't know what it is, but just, just sliding. He's finished out of Mark Martin so we can get, gain some points on him. That would be really nice. Gotta settle in here now. Into this race once again. Mark clean here. Keep low. Clear. Slap the racetrack once again here. But we're now back in the top ten. You're in the top also 10. trying to get back to Matt Kenseth, Kurt Busch, Elliot Sadler, Jamie McMurray. All the guys running up front here. Almost made contact with Kenza there. Clear, car outside. Still there. Clear outside. Yellow flag is Yellow's out. out as we got past Kenza. We, we weren't the cause this time. There's trouble on the front straightaway. Outside. We got back past Kurt Busch. Oh, and there was a car upside down as I made contact with Elliot Sadler. Um, while we go there, there's some some stacking up here. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I want to have a look at what happened there and who was upside down. I think it might have been Casey Mears, but I'm not sure about that. It's Kurt Busch is going to pit lane now. So this is what happened to the 41 of Casey Mears. He gets turned around, but. Um, by Terry Labonte here and just hit by Kenny Wallace flips onto the hood of the 22 Ward Burton there and just lies in the middle of the front stretch there We're also gonna have some lap traffic here now to deal with ah this is gonna be a lot of fun here at Martinsville just gonna try to heat the tires up a little bit This will be fun. With uh, 27 to go, the green flag will fly. Pace car is already off. And the green flag's out. We're racing. Martinsville, gotta wait before I can pass. Uh, slightly too high into that corner. Obviously, I have to remember I have a damaged race car. Try to go to the inside of Brad Boda in there. Trying to get past Brett. Back in the top five here now. It's Jeff Gordon. And, uh, Rusty Wallace and Dale Jr. and Jeff Burton. I think Jeff Burton's for, yeah, Jeff Burton's for position. Bill Elliott and Ryan Newman are lap cars in this one. Slidey a bit. The inside of Jeff we go. And to the inside of the other Jeff we go. Well, even though we're sliding a bit high, pushing him up the racetrack. The fourth trying to get into third here. There's Tony Stewart coming out of pit lane. Now solidly in third, trying to get past Rusty Wallace here, who's trying to work on his teammate to get past Newman there. Tupensky dodges. Also, try Rusty tries for his first win of the year. 
the first one since 2001. He's had an abysmal year so far. He's just somewhere in the, in the lower tens, I think. As Jeff Burton now runs me high. And he touches my rear bumper and tries to push me out of the way here. Which he successfully does, because if I were to stay in that line, I would have been wrecked and spun around. So I'd much rather give way here. His car's in better shape than mine is. So I'm guessing I have a little aerodynamic disadvantage. Because my rear end is a little bit shorter than Jeff's is. Same thing here with Jeff Gordon, who's trying to work on me here. I'm trying to defend a little bit. See where I can go here with this one. Twenty left to go now. We're at we're at Jeff's sandwich now. To try to break free off Burton on the outside there. He can hold his ground. Okay, we're going to get scored Keep as third spot right now. So side by side through one and two. Outside. Almost spin out there. Almost slide into Burton as well. Drop back to fourth then. Obviously my tower is also a little bit worse than these guys' tires due to the spin I had or... Well, the two. Well, the spin and the two half spins, basically. When I was on this on the wall with Sterling Marlin, and when uh, I slid towards the inside wall when I made contact with Elliot Sadler. For the last caution. Still there. Going to the inside of Burton now once again. I think we made the pass this time. Now try to pass Rusty Wallace. Get the run on Rusty. But I don't want to go three wide into this, into this corner because that's not going to work in Martinsville. Because the eye won't give you enough room. I'm just going to stick my nose in there. Maybe they slide up, but... It's not looking like it's going to work anytime soon. Rusty can't really get past Ryan. Just weird. Now he completes the pass finally. Yep, I uh, gotta give him the room. Rusty now finally passed Newman, so we can work on Ryan and then on Rusty, I guess. As Jeff Gordon made his way into fourth now. Almost contact with Rusty there. Wanna avoid that. Now can we go to the inside of Rusty Wallace for a second spot in this race? Yes, we can. You're back in second. And there's Tony Stewart, who is a lap down now. The defending champion hasn't had the season he wanted to. His title defense was pretty much non-existent, apart from a pole early on in the season, which might have been a Texas if I'm not mistaken, but I'm not sure as we put him a lap down as well here, lap down to second, at least we try to, which might be a little change of the guard moment, because we're the points here right now, so it might be Tony Stewart's successor here. On top of the NASCAR world. Ten laps to go right now. 
with my teammate Dale Jr. leading the race, but I got to work on Stewart. As I have to be a little more careful on the inside there, because as I said earlier, if you bounce off of someone, you're going to be the one who's going to spin towards the inside of the racetrack and not the one and, and the, the one on, the, on your outside won't have any any issues whatsoever, just a little nudge. Can be detrimental for one on the inside here. So we're now firmly in second. Trying to clear Casey Atwood. There's my buddy Johnny Benson and my teammate Dale Jr., the race leader right now. He's also working his way through the field. Through lap traffic with seven to go here. Now, I'm gonna have Dale Jr. look to the inside there. Was trying to make it three wide there for a second, but I was thinking better of it. So he left Kevin LePage in that 57 car. Stop hopping over those curbs. So they have to break a little earlier than the, than the other guys here. Because we saw what happened the last time. I tried to overshoot. I tried to overshoot the corner a little bit. Try to break a little earlier. As so we're now on the back bumper of Dale Jr. I tried not to wreck him here. At the same time, I have to try to keep the car on track for me as well. Trying to maybe push Junior through here. Outside. So maybe have a chance at passing him. I don't want to be too overly aggressive. Now maybe I have the shot here. There. here comes the leader. And we make that move Still stick. There. Maybe Junior's coming back here as I... The car squirming there. Now Junior's trying to follow me through here as I... No, 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 ooh. Slide to the outside of the racetrack, side by side with Junior. Now I have the outside line here. I was credited with leading that lap. Junior's coming back to me. Oh, I should have gone to the inside then. Okay, he's not going to... Oh, uh, I thought Spencer was going to the inside. We have the lead still. White flag in the air now. Junior with the lead. White flag one more time around here. This isn't over yet. We're on the outside fighting back. Now we get the chance to get past Junior. No, 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 no. Junior and Spencer. Can we make this one to the line? Make room, Jeff Gordon. 14 wins. New record. You run it into the wall, but I don't care about that. There is a new record for most wins in one season. That was a nice battle to the end there with Dale Jr. Burn it down here a little bit on that small front stretch. <laughs> Completely wrecked race car. I mean, look at that. What we win. Oh, nice. Nice one, nice one. Well, and here's the top 10. Myself, Dale Jr., Rusty Wallace, Jeff Burton, Jeff Gordon, Jamie McMurray, Jerry Nadeau, four Js here. Elliot Sadler, Mark Martin, and Bill Elliott rounding out the top 10. Casey Mears, after his flip on the front stretch, finishes last. Yeah, we're the new record holder for most wins in one season in the modern era. Nice. Really, really nice. That means now with... Four races to go. We lead by 194 over Mark Martin, 217 over Dale Jr. 
And then it's Matt Kenseth, Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson, Ryan Newman, Kurt Busch, Bill Elliott, and Dale Jarrett rounding out the top 10. Tony Stewart slips back to 12th in points. So definitely not a good season he's had so far. Next race is going to be Atlanta, a track we won around as well. And then it's going to be Phoenix, Rockingham, and Homestead. And the season is over. Only four more races to go in the chase for the championship. It's not a chase yet, but... Uh, we're on a good we're we're on a good road. I'm really really confident we can clinch the road. maybe maybe in Phoenix, but I guess, I'm guessing Rockingham. I'm thinking we're gonna walk out of Rockingham as the champion. I'm confident. But next race is gonna be in Atlanta, training one as well. So maybe going for 15 wins. Who knows? Who knows? Um, with that being said, if you enjoyed this episode, uh, leave a like and subscribe uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. And. Uh, Hope you're having a great day and a nice week wherever you may live in the world. And goodbye.